In this edition of Twin Real Game Reviews, we'll be taking a look at Overcooked Special Edition, developed by Ghost Town Games and published by Team 17. Now, Overcooked is a fast paced couch co op cooking simulator where you and up to three friends need to master cooking together by preparing a variety of dishes in over 25 kitchens as you make your way to take on the evil spaghetti and meatballs. The game has over 40 kitchens that span across the main campaign and the two DLC campaigns included with this version. You also have a versus mode for two to four chefs to see who's the best set of chefs on the uh, in the room. The versus mode has up to nine stages that you can access which are unlocked as you make your way through the campaign mode here. The animations and the visuals for the campaign mode are, or the graphics in general are pretty cool. It looks like a little like clay type animation. You've got the little, uh, snowflakes, the the, uh, the trees moving around, you know, the clouds. You know, it's been really nice and smooth for the most part. I do see from time to time there is some slight frame rate drops in the main map and the cutscenes, but the kitchen itself seems perfectly fine. You do have a variety of chefs that you can unlock as well as you make your way through the campaign mode. They don't give you any special abilities, they're just, you know, different avatars. Each stage does have three stars that you can acquire, depending on how many, you know, dishes you get out and how many points you can acquire. The game does have some really great music as well for it. And so the, the variety of music on each of the different worlds is really nice, you know, upbeat, keeps you going. And what happens is once you get to around 30 seconds left in your kitchen before your timer is up, the music will get faster and faster and it'll give you a sense of urgency like, oh, oh, I'm almost out of time, I better quickly finish up whatever dishes I can do. Besides the you know, visuals and the music, the game has, like I said, one to four players. And so what happens is if you're playing by yourself, you're actually playing as two chefs. So you will have to swap between the chefs and so you're micromanaging, you know, make sure both chefs are busy doing what they should be doing. And what happens is that with the two chefs, or with even when you're doing multiplayer, is that the game will allow you to know what the other chef is doing to a point by the cool HD rumble feature it has. Because as the chef is, you know, cutting up stuff or washing the dishes, then the HD rumble will either be swirling around or feeling like it's doing chopping feel uh, like motions. So that way you know once the HD rumble stops, your chefs aren't doing anything and you need to go and make sure that they have a new task ahead of them. The game has, because it's up to four players, the more players you have in the game, the more points that you need to acquire a star. So that way if it was 30 points to acquire you know, one star in the game for a single player, then you're going to need like maybe 40 or 50 points to acquire that same star when you're playing like three or four players. So the difficulty is bumped up accordingly when you're playing multiple players, so that way you just can't grab four people and quickly blast through the campaign mode. Some of the negatives about the game though, for me the main thing is the loading time. As you can tell there, there were a few seconds it took to load between the main game and then the kitchen and then from you know loading from the title screen into the main game so that could be worked on i would think you know, hopefully there's a way to you know improve the loading time the controls as well aren't fully explained or the point that you have to watch the upper left there i did notice that until like the second second uh world that there's actually a little countdown color there where as you make your way down uh, from green to yellow to red then you get less tips and once it goes all the way off red you then lose points i couldn't figure out why i was losing points on my meals initially and besides losing meals like you can see you can use one button for picking up stuff and one button for cutting stuff it doesn't mention that another button is used for dashing and that another button can be used to make your chef swear like a sailor and then there's also an issue where on some of the stages because the different stages, like they all have their own unique obstacles to them. There's uh, moving trucks, like uh, like cooking, like cooking trucks that are you know they split apart and come together. And so you got a time when you go onto the different trucks. There's earthquakes. There's as you see here rats that come in and take your food if you don't watch it in time. But what happens is that if you have uh, certain stages where you have 
conveyor belt and they drop your pots and stuff into the garbage disposal and you don't catch it in time sometimes the item will then respawn after a few seconds in a place you can't actually reach it like in you know the corner there and you've got no way to grab it and so then you have to try to do the best you can going through the stage without that item and if you happen to also put stuff down by the fire extinguisher sometimes it'll push the fire extinguisher back enough where you can't actually grab the fire extinguisher anymore and so then if you end up getting a fire in your kitchen yeah you're not gonna be able to put that fire out you're gonna have to go and restart the level and because of the loading time I find that it's better just to quickly pause the game if you're not gonna make your required stars you want and just go restart then the level basically reloads right away versus having to wait for the loading screen to go back to the main map and then choosing your stage then having it wait and reload back into the stage again but all in all you know fantastic game have a lot of fun playing through this especially the co-op mode where you can have you know the more chefs you know talking to each other or assigning different tasks to each other it's a really a lot of fun and i would definitely give this game an eight and a half out of ten and that's it for this review